Good morning, YouTube. What are we going to do today? I think we're going to watch the roosters chase each other around and eat some bugs. Nah, that didn't sound very good. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to get some logs on here. And we want to cut some lumber. We want to cut some pine lumber. That's what we want to do. Because I've got some 16 foot pine logs that I need to cut up. I've already got them sold. But, we kept off the 16 foot stack Saturday, two days ago. Kept off the stack. And, we've got to start another one. So I think that's what we're going to do today, is start another 16-foot stack. We've got some 16-footers sold. i got all those sold, I think. I'd like to keep some of those 20-footers if I could, so I'm going to saw another stack of 16-footers um, that we can go through. There's some frost on this morning and some sawdust. So we'll some frozen sawdust. So hopefully we'll get the leaf blower out. We'll blow all some of that sawdust off there after it thaws out. We'll blow some of those leaves out of there maybe. So the air can flow through it. But we've got to set up a stack. And we've got to get some more stickers before we can do that. All the scrap wood that I had over here that was puzzle pieces I call them that are just going to go onto stacks in different places I put them all up here as uh, top pieces over my stack so that the tarp was curved so that hopefully water would run off of it and I put some logs up there too a couple maple an elm elm and three maple up there logs on that stack but what we're gonna do is we're going to take these hedge blocks and some four by fours and we're gonna make another stack 16 foot stack there's all my locusts good-looking stuff I don't know what I'm gonna do with it and the four by four stack the two four six eight ten of them 4x4 four four stack is getting a little low too. So, even before you can make, oh, there's three in there. Three, six, nine, 12, 15 of them. But before you can run your sawmill every day, you've got to have a place to put your lumber. So that's what we're gonna do today. Make a lumber stack, cut some more 4x4s four probably, cut some more stickers. And find a place for the stack. I didn't put that one up there. The other thing that I'd like to say, that I'm going to say whether you like it or not, this is a four foot stack here, four foot wide. I'm going to make a few of these four by fours that are five foot because I like stacking my uh, trash lumber along here this is just it doesn't make a full board but from there to the end is a good board and from there to the end is a good board so I can cut that with the chainsaw and put two boards up there and make one for my 16 foot stack so I like having those over there plus I like stepping up on them when I get the stack it's over my head I can st stack a step to stack up lumber so I think we're going to go to the chicken yard and stack some lumber in the chicken yard it's I've got two mulberry trees out here in the chicken yard they drop mulberries every year so I don't want them on my stack really 
nice mulberry stained pine wood. I guess it wouldn't hurt anything if it's two buys. But it should be, should get enough shade from the chicken house, from those trees, and from the corn crib. And from these two trees, I should get enough shade. I'm gonna put a six, 16 foot row right in here. And then I can trim up some of those branches there and I can offload it that way, back of a pickup truck here and offload it onto your pickup truck or trailer that way. And behind it by the fence here, I think I'll put another row of four by fours here by the fence and then a 16 foot stack of lumber here. Of course, that's going to mean I have chickens underneath my lumber stack and they're gonna be digging. So I'm gonna to have to get some wire and go all the way around the chicken. Chicken wire and go all the way around the lumber stack so the chickens can't dig underneath it. But I think that'll be okay too. It's a nice shaded area, it's close to the mill. Mill's right on the other side of the corn crib. And it's not full shade, but it's not full sun either. I think that's what I want for drying this lumber. So come learn a lesson with me today on how to make a stack and we'll probably learn that I did it wrong after a while. But we'll learn together, I guess.